Hello guys, in this video I will show you how sometimes the range of query is important while using eloquent model. So here in my table I have user, right? And this user has five posts, right? So if I try this code here, user and with count, right? Count user posts and get here is a query and now it's included post count and I have only one user and this user has five posts right but what if I only want to get the user ID name and posts count only right let's try it here and I will say select right ID and name now it's good but if I try it inside get here ID and name and what if I removed select here it doesn't work because we must include select right also I want to get post discount right here what if I added post discount here post this count and I received an error why because if I see the query of that to SQL it returns the select ID name post count from users. It's overridden the sub queries that returns the post count. So let's change it to select here user and select first the ID and the name, right? And with count this one here, then get. Here is what we want the ID name and post count so let's show the query of that to SQL and now select ID name and also run the sub query that counts the post count and return the result what we want here is a quick tip about a range or order of query if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in the next video